we're going to create a practice cube to learn how to use some of the basic functions of Onshape. So the cube is going to look like this when we're done. It's just a 50 by 50 cube with a hole in the top and a circle sticking out of the side and a, a square sticking out of the other side. So let's say you've already created your Onshape account and this will be the first window you'll have. Now I have a lot of things here that I've already created. You won't have those yet. First thing we're going to do is click on create a document. It's going to ask you for a name. Let's call this practice cube. And we'll click on create public document. And it's public because this is the free version we're using. If you want to uh, pay money, then you can have documents that nobody can see. But we're just going to click here on create public document. And this is the main window where we're going to start. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here to the options. And we're going to go to workspace units. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to make sure this is millimeters here. The first time you go in, it'll probably say inches. So you'll click on the triangle here and go to millimeters. Then once you have all these options uh, set how you want, you click on the green check mark. The only thing we're changing is millimeters. So click on the green check mark to accept those settings and we're ready to start. So we're going to sketch a square on the front plane. You notice each of these planes is labeled. So we're going to click up here on sketch and the computer says okay which plane do you want to sketch on. So we're going to go ahead and click here on the front. You notice it turns orange as you hover over it. So we'll click there. And this is where we're going to start our sketch. Now, if you right click, you can rotate this environment. Okay, and if it gets a little weird, there's this little view cube up here. So we can click right here on the front and it'll orient that space so the front is facing you. You can zoom in and out by using your scroll wheel. Okay. And if you press down on your scroll wheel, you can pan and move your object around. So pressing on your scroll bar will do this. Right clicking will rotate it. And zooming in and out if you scroll your wheel, zoom in and out. So those are the basic features. So I'm going to click on the front view here, view cube. And I'm going to press and, and move this over just a little bit. I'm going to click a rectangle. There's my, my rectangle tool. Okay, I'm going to click in the center. Just click and let go. Click. You notice it, it turns orange when I'm there. So right there. Click. Let go. Move my mouse up and over a little bit. doesn't have to be exact because as soon as I click, again, it sets the other corner. So click. There. And now you'll notice this box is showing it's available for entry. I can enter a number right now. I don't have to highlight it. I don't have to click on anything. I don't have to do anything besides enter my number. So I'm just going to press 50 and press enter. And it dimensions that side for me. Now you'll notice this box is ready for an entry. And I got pretty close right there. So I'm going to type in 50, enter. And it does it for me. Okay, so that's the first part. I've made my square. And now I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to right click and turn this just a little bit so you can see what happens here. I'm going to click on the extrude tool up here. And now the computer, since I only have one thing there, it knows that's what I'm going to extrude because that's the only thing that I can extrude. If you have multiple sketches and different things, uh, when you click on extrude, you'll have to click on the thing you want to extrude. So. The default right now is 25, so I'm going to change this, I'm going to highlight that, and change that to 50. And I'm going to press Enter. And then it shows me, so I can right click and rotate that to see if it looks like I, I want it to look, and it does. So once I have these settings, again, once I have these settings how I want them, I click on the green check mark to accept those settings, so I click there. Okay, now I have my cube.
cube. So I'm going to click on the front up here in my view cube. That rotates that. I'm going to move that over a little bit and I'm going to kind of zoom in just a bit. And again, I'm going to click on my sketch tool. And the computer always wants to know where do I want to make my sketch. So I'm going to click here and say I want to make my sketch right here on this front face of the cube. And there that shows my sketch plane where I'm going to be sketching. And I'm going to make a circle by clicking on the circle tool up here. And then I'm going to click near the center. Um, doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to click, drag a little bit, and click again. Now that says 24. I'm actually very close because I'm going to enter 25 and press enter. If I ever make a mistake, I can come up here and click on undo. It'll undo the last thing I did. Or I can hit escape to get out of all my tools and things. Sometimes I need to do that. Okay, so I've created my circle. Now I'm going to use the dimension tool up here to dimension where this uh, circle is. It's obviously is not in the center. So I want the center to be 25 millimeters from this side right here. The whole thing is 50, so half is 25, right? So I click on the center of the circle and I click over here where I want it to be. I want to measure, I want to measure from this dot to this line. And that shows me now that's 29 point, you know, whatever that is there, 0 0.104. So I click and now I have that entry box there where I can enter in 25, enter. Now this is close to being in the center this way from this line to this center here, but it's not exact. So I go over here, click 25, enter. Okay, now this circle is exactly 25 millimeters in diameter and it's 25 millimeters from this side and it's 25 millimeters from this side so it's right in the center. Now again I'm going to right click and turn it sideways a little so you can see what's happening here and I'm going to extrude this. It picked that for me and I'm going to click here and say I want that to be 12.5 enter. Okay so I have that little knob sticking out there Okay, and if once I'm happy with how it looks, I click the green check mark and I'm fine. Okay, now we're going to do another circle on the top, but this time instead of it sticking out, we're going to basically like drill a hole through this block. So I'm going to click here on the top. I'm going to move it to the center, maybe zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to create another sketch again. So I create my sketch here. Click where I want to sketch. Again, I click on my circle tool. Come over here. Click somewhere near the center. Drag, click, and type in 25, enter. Get my dimension tool. Same thing I did on the last one. I'm going to click here. From this dot to this line should be 25, 25, enter from this dot to this line should be also 25 enter okay i'm going to turn it sideways a little bit again so you can see what's happening i'm going to click on extrude and again since that's the only thing i sketched on that plane it picked it for me this time i want to drill a hole through there and it's sticking out the wrong way so if you notice over here there's a couple options when i extrude Okay, I want to click remove because I want to remove that material there. And now you notice as soon as I click remove, the arrow is going the other direction. Now it's going into it. But it's only going 25 millimeters because that's the default setting. So basically it looks like we only drilled halfway through it. I want to go all the way through it. So I'm going to type in or enter 50, enter 50, enter. Once I click the green check mark, you can see now I have a hole going through there. Okay, last step, we're going to put a square on this right face. So I'm going to click right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and again, every time you make something, you have to click sketch and tell the computer what face or surface you want to sketch on. So I'll click here, 
Now I'm going to sketch there. This time I'm going to do a rectangle. And I'm going to just click, move my mouse, and click. Again, there's that box sitting there. I'm just going to type 25, enter. And now this box shows up and says, hey, what do you want this side to be? So I say 25, enter. And then I get my dimension tool because this side of this line should be 12.5 millimeters from this. These should be 12.5 millimeters apart. So I'm going to click here and click here and go up. So I have 12.5, enter. And I'm, I can move the dimensions too. I'm going to move this one up here so they look nice. Like you can move them wherever you want. I'm going to put them there so they look kind of nice. Move that one over. So that's that line is 12.5 from that line. Now I need to also make this line, or this either one, this line 12.5 from here. So click here, click here, 12.5, enter. And now if I want to make these look nice, I can line them all up. You don't have to. Okay and turn it sideways so you can see what's going to happen because I'm going to extrude again. It picked it for me already. I'm going to click here, 12.5, enter. Click the green check mark, and I've created my little practice cube. All right.